All right, Salam Zahab, GMS Mississippi Camp, double honors to the apostles of GMS. Oh, and Salak, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of GMS. Salutations to the elect. All right, and today I want to make a, a lesson, which is a continuation of the previous two lessons, Prove Thy Soul and the Earners of Our Inheritance. Because basically, in this truth, you're going to learn that your life is already pre-written. And if you stay in the spirit, it's easier to understand that the flesh is impulsive and is impatient. And one um, virtue that we have to practice is patience. Even they say in the world, patience is a virtue. All right? Because like I said, basically, everything that's given to you is given to you by your Hawa, by Hashem, your Hawa Shai. All right? And everything that you don't have, you're in a predicament because of your Hawa, by Hashem, your Hawa Shai. All right? <clears throat> but with that, I'm going to go into the scriptures. Let the Spirit speak. Um, this is Sirach chapter... Let's see where I can start. This is Sirach chapter 4 verse 26. Be not ashamed to confess thy sins and force not the course of the river. Alright? The point is where it says for, force not the course of the river, man. So everything is going to happen in due time, man. Like how they say let, it, let something take its course or run its course. A river runs the course. So Anything that you desire or need is going to be given to you by your Howard Boss and your Howard Shai. Anytime you go out your wits to get something, it's not going to work. If the Most High is dealing with you as with sons, it's not going to work. And like I said in the first lesson, prove thy soul. If you constantly trying to pursue something back to back to back to back and it's not working, then you should you probably need to stop and question yourself because that's the Most High putting their heads over you saying no. Alright. You know, um, people in the world, in the church, they always say, God spoke to me and the Lord spoke to me. The, the Lord not speaking to you, man. You're not hearing a voice go if not in that direction. No. When you start seeing patterns or something not manifesting or something not working, that's the Lord speaking to you. Or if you're going in a certain direction and a series of strange events starts happening to you that are very um, vexing, that's the Lord chastening you, man. Or a brother's cursing you out or anything, man. That's the Lord speaking to you then, man. Don't force the course. Your movie, your script, your story is already written out. And when the Most High give it the, those different things, the green light to happen, then it's going to happen, man. Like women, jobs, money. When it's time for it to happen, it's going to happen through the Spirit. Alright, so Rock 4 and 26 again. Be not ashamed to confess thy sins and force not the course of the river. Alright, like I said, man, the Most High going to take care of everything, man. Even when times get rough, man, we in, we in the flesh and you, we might get shook up a little bit, man, or a lot. But we got to stay in the spirit, man. Force not the course of the uh, river, man. This is, um, well, because I'm Mr. Rock, I could go to <clears throat> Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 and 32 I'm sorry 39 and 33 all the works of the Lord are good so even if something bad in your life happening or you catching hell that's the work of the Lord and it's good even your hell is good because it's working out your salvation you're being purged for the kingdom all right all the works of Yahweh are good, good, and He will give every needful thing in due season. So, going back to the first lesson, when I was talking about brothers going to the clubs and you trying to find out women, and it, it, certain things like that never manifest because that wasn't you. What it wasn't the time or the place to get it. All right, it might have worked for the brother next to you, but it's not working for you. But then it says He will give every needful thing in due season, man. Huh? All right, so. It's all about patience, man. That's a virtue in this truth. Like, I don't have it right now. But obviously, 
I tried it so many times, so obviously the most I don't want me to have it. So I'm just gonna sit. I'm gonna sit down and be patient, man, and just continue to do the works. And next thing you know, summer's swinging by your way, man. Everything happens in the course of Yah Bashim Yahushua's time, man. Not our time. They even say in the world, he might not come when you want him, when when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. Well, that's true, man. All right, I'm gonna read that again. So, Rock 39 and 33. <clears throat> All the works of the Lord are good. He will give every needful thing in due season. All the works of Yahweh are good, man. They say, if this is a God, why he allow this to happen? Why not? Nah. All the works of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah are good, man. All right? And he will give every needful thing in due season on his watch, not your watch. And you get impatient and impulsive, you lose sight of that. Then you start forcing the course. Now you're wondering why you got an STD. You know what I mean? Now you just anything, man. All right? Don't 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 lose your soul for your lust, man. You got to crucify your lust, man. Crucify your flesh. <clears throat> Matthew 6 and... I'm going to start at 30. Wherefore, if the most I so clothe the grass of the field, which is to, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? That's little faith when you you can't be patient and let the most I do his thing. You gotta up and do it, man. Alright? That's the sign of little faith, man. Therefore take no thought saying, What shall we eat or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Now, um, one term for the Most High is omniscient, which means all-knowing. So you think the Most High don't know that you broke? <laughs> you know? But that's the work of the Lord pursuing the Sirach 39. But you will, you, will, you will soon find out that when things... Shut out in your life. That's the time for you to grow in, in the spirit, man. When things don't go your way and your car broke down so you can't leave the house or your internet's off or, um, you're, like I said, you're broke so you really just trapped inside your house, that's the time to grow in the spirit, man. All right? Or you might have the internet on so it's time for you to watch videos, man, because, hey, man, it's easy to just slip slip away, man. The most side of you, the elect, he'll crash the crash you man he'll cause so things certain things that crap happen to your life this is the zero back zero you back in and this right here all right um verse 32 Sirach. i mean i'm sorry matthew 6 and 32 for after all these things do the gentiles seek for your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need of all these things but seek ye first the kingdom of your house going back man keep sight on the big picture it's the kingdom man Seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take no, take therefore no thought for tomorrow, man. Don't get shaky, man. Man, what I'm going to do, man? Jobs ain't called me yet. Or, man, I'm working. I work overtime. I still ain't got no money. Nah, man, take no thought for tomorrow, man. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for, for Salat. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. It's already hard enough making it day by day, man. All right, and sometimes it gets like that, man. You'll get impatient. You'll, you'll, those vain imaginations, you'll start to fear. But we got to keep this, keep this locked in, man. Stay locked in to this. All right. <clears throat> um, Psalms 34. This is Psalms 37. It's a lot. Psalms 37 and 4. Delight thyself also of Yahweh, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Alright? So the most I know what we desire, man. But first, we got to put this first, man. It's like in the world, man. The average Jake, especially Jake from the, uh, the urban environment, from the hood, they'll invest all their money in joints and necklaces and... Four hundred dollar pants and five thousand dollar rims, but they stand in projects. All right, from a 
and from a worldly point of view, wouldn't it make sense to invest in on um, some like a house and a, a land, car and a land, a house and, and acres? Then get the little stuff like that'll fall into place. All right. So you, you put that in, to apply that to the scriptures. Don't focus on the woman and the, the food or how you're gonna get your money. Focus on the kingdom and the most. I take care of all the little stuff. Those are little things, man. Like the world, if, you, if these guys focus on the house and, and land, then you will worry about the little stuff to fall into place, man. But Jake spent his whole ambition focusing on the little miscellaneous things, man. But how about Shemi He just he does that to, to remind you that he's providing you everything and not your hustles, man. Not your jobs, not your overtime. He's providing everything, man. But um, <clears throat> with that, I hope you brothers were edified. Um, most I will, we continue to push these lessons out, all right, and, um, and we gotta, and most I will, we stay strong to the end, and with that, I'm gonna say shalom.